Come to Mama's house. Damn, they were all over. Come on. My boy, so you are already back from the movie. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, Mikey got too scared of the movie. Uh, really? So maybe we should take a walk? Honey, I just came back and I still got work to do, you know? Really? Uh, so at least help me, please, to unpack the bags. <laughs> well, honey, there's only one bag there. Uh, whatever. <laughs> You see, Mikey did it for us. Well done, Mikey. Well done. Now go to your room, okay? I need to discuss something with Melanie. But Daddy, what if there is a monster? Oh, Mikey, I told you, there are no monsters. It was just a movie. Come on, go to your room. Come on, we're a big boy now. Come on. You know, sometimes I just don't understand you at all. Daddy! We'll talk later. Okay. Coming. Mikey, what's up? Dad, you already told me before I go to bed. Okay, give it to me. Oh, Mikey, Mikey, which one? Your favorite one? You ready? A long, 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 long time ago, lived a man with a very white beard. He had a cat, he had a dog, and he had a hedgehog. But he never had children. You want to know why? It's a very old story. And they lived happily ever after. The end. Are you going to sleep now, Mikey? Dad, read another one. Mikey! I'm already falling myself asleep. Good night. Don't let me talk! What if the monster comes and I can see him? Mikey, you're a big boy now. Please. Okay. Sleep well. What's wrong? Monster! There's monster under the bed! What? What makes you think so? He sneezed! What? Let me check it out. Ho, ho, guys! Come on! How about I will take care of uh, this monster and you will go um, to the kitchen and drink some nice glass of uh, milk. Yeah. How about that? Girls can be very strong! What the hell are you doing here? Huh? Are you crazy? I didn't know where to hide. <sighs> Why didn't you get out of here? The kid hasn't left his room for all night. Why didn't you text me? My phone died. Get out of here. Come on. Listen, Mikey. Maybe it was just the bed creaking under you? It wasn't the bed. I heard a monster. Mikey, if monsters exist, if they exist, they will never hurt you. You know why? Because you have me, Melanie, and we will protect you. So, guys, I threw that monster out. So we can go sleep? Hmm? No, no, no! I'm scared, I can't sleep alone. I want, I want, I want! 
I guess we need a help from a psychiatrist. You know what? I have one in my mind. He's a really, really good doctor. Dr. Rupert. Yes. Uh, hello. Good afternoon, Mr. Lake. Where's our little patient? He's in his room, waiting for you. Uh, thank you. <coughs> <laughs> ah, <laughs> I'm really sorry. I have a very similar apartment. And uh, you're not coming up with me? No, my wife said that you only have free time in the afternoon. And that we have to wait. But I wanted to support my son. But don't worry, mister. A couple of sessions and he will be just fine. I mean, a couple dozens of sessions. And uh, children therapy sometimes take a lot of patience. Yeah. Well, <laughs> good luck. Thank you. <laughs> What's that? Um, you know, working with children sometimes can be very hard and they can turn your clothes like a little <laughs> monster. Little you know? monsters, huh? Monster. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nice buttons, by the way. Honey, thank you. Take care of our guest, and I'll see you soon. Don't be late. Have a great day. Bye. Oh, come on. Hey, Mike. Uh, uh, this is Tony. Uh, I mean, Dr. Rupert. Dr. Rupert, this is Mike. Mike, say hello to doctor. Hi. Hi, big boy. You know, your father said uh, you're afraid of the monster under your bed. Yes. Um, can I? Oh, <laughs> you know what? I have a suggestion. Let's go together and find the monster under your bed, huh? <laughs> oh, you can get it, man. Come on. I'll cover you. Huh? Come on, Mike. Uh, let's check the bed. Oh, let's see. Huh? Left, right, uh, there's no one there. <laughs> there is no even space for a monster to sneak in. <laughs> you can go and play uh, whatever you like to play in the kids these days. Uh, in the meantime, I need to talk to your stepmom about a few important things. <clears throat> How was your day? Good. Good? Is this all prescribed to you? How was your session with Dr. Rupert, huh? I was under the bed. What? Under the bed? Why? I was looking for where the monster was at night. Did you find it? <sighs> I told you so, there are no monsters. There is! What? He left this. I think I've seen these buttons before. Mikey, how about spending a night at Grandma's, huh? There are no monsters there. Beside the all right, let's go pack your stuff. I'll help you. You're sure he's not coming back? Oh, yes. A trip to Grandma always takes a lot of time. Okay, then. For us. 
<laughs> I didn't expect. It would be so easy. Uh, did he buy the prescription? Oh, yes, he did. And he'll be paying thousands of dollars just for regular aspirin. <laughs> uh, you know what? Just a couple of sessions and I can send your stepson somewhere out of the house, huh? <laughs> I can tell him he need a couple of sessions uh, with the nature, it would be nature therapy with one of his parents, huh? Frank will definitely go away so you and I can make an easy work of his savings. You know what? You are not as dumb as you look. I will take that as a compliment. Hmm. Mm. What is that? It must be a fuse. Don't worry. I will go down and I will check it. Uh, I'll be right. I'll be right back. Wait. Wait a second. Okay. What are you doing here? I just wanted to see if Mike was telling the truth about the monsters. But apparently they don't leave under the bed. Um. Guys, she's all yours. Oh, no, 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 no. What? Hey, put you your hands You have the right to me. remain in silence. Hey, Frank, tell me it's a mistake. Oh, gentlemen, yes. It was a huge mistake to blindly trust a woman who treats you nothing but a cash machine. Oh. It was a mistake to let her into my home. But the biggest mistake was to let her need the one I love the most. You've been playing with my son. With his feelings and his fears. Who are you, huh? He's just a kid. But An innocent child who did you no wrong. I have no right to speak. And what am I in here for? I didn't cheat to anyone. Pretending to be a doctor, that's a crime, okay? And you both cause psychological trauma to my son. And that's a child abuse. So you're facing a long sentence in jail. Take him away. It's too late. Please. Take him away. It wasn't my idea, please! No! You know what? I've been wondering, why would you do this? Why would you want to live with a single father raising his son? <laughs> but now I know. It never mattered to you. It was all about the money, right? No. Take care. Take it away. Oh, Frank, this is a mistake. You forced me, Frank. Hi, it's Gary. They should rather have dramatized me. Thank you, the dramatizers, for following us and watching our videos. We know how much you like our content, so I'm happy to announce that we are launching a new channel called Love Buster. There you can watch our newly produced videos about love and relationships. So click the link below, subscribe and share it with your friends. Take care and see ya.